with a surprising answer. What is made here in Kansas City? Well, 41 Action News anchor Justin Wilfon found out and shows us the new movement designed to encourage everyone to buy products made right here in the metro. There's something strange going on in this Shawnee factory. Instead of receiving products from Asia, they're making them to send there. We take a lot of pride. Vitacraft makes pots, pans, and skillets and sells 80% of them overseas. And as you can see, we make a good product. Yes, we get dirty, but we're real proud at the end of the day. It turns out this city known for jazz makes much more than just music. From the F 150s that roll off the line at Ford's Clay Como plant to the electric vehicles that roll off the line at Smith's Kansas City plant, there's plenty made in KC. Well, you're seeing nationwide a trend towards some reshoring of companies that were previously making stuff overseas like in Southeast Asia or Brazil um, for a number of reasons that stuff is coming back home. The nearly 2,000 manufacturing companies in the KC Metro produced nearly $25 billion worth of products last year, all while creating more than 76,000 KC jobs. How they provide good, solid, middle-class wages for people who don't necessarily have a, a, a bachelor's degree. Some of those people work right here, where something special is brewing. What I'm really very proud of is just the brand we've built here in Kansas City. I mean, I think... Um, you know, there's a lot of beer made all over the country, and I think really Boulevard and Kansas City are really synonymous. Boulevard founder John McDonald made his first beer for himself back in the 80s. Now his staff of more than 200 sends beer to 31 states and several countries around the world. You're seeing a lot of things starting to be made in America again today, and I think, I think the craft brewing industry was one of the first things that sort of spark that whole idea. It's brewing all over KC, with places like Border Brewing Company popping up in the crossroads, and Jay Rieger once again distilling their legendary brand of Kansas City whiskey in the East Bottoms. Well, the reception has been great. Um, you know, people in Kansas City have really em embraced what we're doing. But there's still room for improvement. The Economic Development Corporation of Kansas City says the number of manufacturers here isn't seeing much growth. It's one of the reasons Richard Shipley, founder of the nonprofit Local Start, started a new initiative called Made in KC. Made in KC is a movement to bring locally made goods to the forefront of people's minds here in town. He's doing it by helping locally owned stores like this one in Lenexa. Called Bulk It, it sells food made in Kansas City. When you choose to support some place like this, like Bulk It, you're not, you're not helping a CEO buy a third vacation home, right? You're helping a little girl get dance lessons. Local Start's goal is to help other stores like this open up across the metro, helping boost the sales of Kansas City products by putting them in the spotlight with their Made in KC logo. Vitacraft already signed up for the Made in KC campaign, hoping to sell more of their cookware here at home, while still sending a little KC pride to customers around the world. It's great to provide jobs. It's great to produce cookware, a real durable, hard good. Justin Wilfon, 41 Action News.